Hey guys, welcome back to more Generation Zero. Today we're hopefully gonna make it all the way over here to the next main mission. Oh, a rival. He's level three. I was told to leave them until level four, but if he's gonna be in the way, we're going to have to let him kill us. So we'll see. Uh, unbearable lightness, we're gonna do that first. Then we're gonna head over to this side mission, and if nothing else comes in between or nothing else shows up, we're going to head over to over and out. So the plan is to hopefully end up at least in this little village here, near here, or whatever the closest safe house is. I would assume, hopefully, there's a safe house here. If not, we're gonna check further in. Oh, also, let me just uh, quickly talk about the bicycle. I absolutely love the fact that I can go on a bicycle. Like some people have a real aversion to me using the bicycle. And I mean like seriously, it's like I'm forcing them to eat the most disgusting thing in their life. And they have to tell me how horrible the videos are when I'm on a bicycle. I really don't understand. Unless I'm missing something further down the line in the game, why would I not choose to travel faster without wasting my uh, stamina instead of wasting my stamina and running and having to stop running every now and then? There's no robots here. There's nothing here. This is an absolute time saver. I absolutely love it. This took me so much less time to travel than if I would have walked that. So yeah, unless I missed something, I really don't understand it. Oh, what do we have over there? There's like a little bunker or something or a little outhouse. We're gonna have to check that out. And then the side mission over here. The weather is really turning right now. I don't know what is going on. It looks like we're gonna have some bad weather here. Let's quickly check this out. What is it? Oh, oh this is little Timmy. He also used his bicycle. Oh, we're just gonna take his ammunition. It's not like he's gonna need it. I just want to loot all of this plague Fallout 4 <laughs> and all the junk. I'm going to this table and I just want to press collect, 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 collect. No, aluminium, aluminium, whichever. Beer, wine, salad, vendor, give me gold. Here we go. So we have a nice uh, first aid kit. This is a lovely little area. I like this. Oh, that is some... Ah! What the crap is this? This is so freaky. When did this when did the when did this turn into a horror game? Holy balls! What do we have here? There's a knife. What did we just pick up? Oh my dear lord, that was so creepy. Why is everything all of a sudden so foggy and scary? Oh my god, it's literally just here. And now the weather is as beautiful as ever. It literally is like exactly on that specific spot. Everything turns into a horror show. Oh, okay, I think we're getting close. So let's get off bikey. Yeah, you go ahead, bikey. You take charge. I cover you. We're in Saltholm Stungen. Okay, we can see something here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think we should lie flat down the ground so we can hide the best. And then take a couple of pot shots. Just have to be very quiet. Oh yeah, he doesn't even know where I am. Oh, there he is. Okay, we got one. Have to heal up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna have to run for it. Whoa, okay. Ooh, another tick. And this is how not to infiltrate a camp. So I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys like what is the worst possible strategy and that is just to lie in the open and attack the camp. So now that we got that out of the way, maybe next time I can show you how to do it properly. <laughs> oh my dear Lord. Okay, let's see, you have some ammunition. That was so terrible. Ooh, wow, loads of bits and pieces here. Nice, I can see it, I can see it. We're gonna get that in a second. Let's get the ammunition first. Very good. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, a level two automatic gewehr. Oh, sweet. Okay, we have some junk here. Oh, very nice healing kits. Oh, we have a letter here as well. What is it in the sergeant? 
Okay, let's read the letter. Fireworks, nice. Okay, Corporal... That's a side mission. Corporal scope Boda's letter to his parents. Oh, it looks like it was the Russians. He's basically writing his letter to his mom and dad and saying like, you know, you guys always said it was a matter of time before the Russian would invade Sweden. Unless everybody thinks it's the Russians. But the Russians actually also were trying to, ha had the same problem, were trying to help or something. I don't know. I mean, it's probably plain and simply less complex than the Russians invading Sweden. Now again, the skill point as well. I'm a little bit hesitant in spending my skill points at this stage because I'm not really 100% confident in what I want to do. Wow, there's another gun. That's, that looks like another Automatgewehr, I think. Is it? I think so. Let's see what it is. Yes, it is. And it's also level two. Is there any difference between the two here? No, not really. Okay, I just looted everything else behind us, but what is this? It's a little extension to the camp. Is there anybody here? No, okay. It just looks really cool. Like you have a little, little extension down the side. Off to one can only hope in Nora Saltholman. It's just got a message saying Scarven Bunker, one weapon detected. Is this a bunker? Does it have an entrance over here? Yeah, it says weapons. Oh, no, this is actually from the camp. But right now, when I got a little bit further away. Scarven Bunker, weapons. Zero out of one. So we must be above another bunker. I wonder if there's an entrance somewhere here on the side. Oh, here's a bunker entrance. This is where the camp is, just behind us and up the hill here, a little bunker entrance. And that is nowhere, that is nowhere close to, oh, it is. So this is a bunker, all right. For some reason I thought it would be further away. Let's see if we can get in. Okay, let's get in, close the door. Okay, let's leave the light on. Oh, that sounds like gas. Okay, maybe they're below us. Oh, what happens? What's happening? Oh, wow. That, whoa. It got really dark here. Oh, there's a gas mask in the... In, okay, they want me to put the gas mask on. Entering combat. What? What? Whoa. They're coming from the smoke. All right, the gas mask coming on because I'm curious. Let's go. Let's go and check it out. There's probably more. Is there anywhere we can turn it off? We have, should have a look. Okay, it's not here. It's not here. This is very creepy. This is where the source is of the stink. All these robots are dead. Okay. I probably should see. I'm looting it just in case we can't turn it off and I have to rush. So we're going to loot really quickly. Um, can we turn it off? There's an icon over here. Yes. Is that kind of cleared? It looks like it might. Oh no, do we have to press another button? Alright, okay, we're gonna have to heal up now in a second. So we got the power going, at least. Okay, we're gonna have to heal up a little bit. This is the stairs. Let's go to the... Is there any more? No. So that was the only room. So the only purpose of this room was to turn the power on. Interesting. I kind of like that you can't really fix the gas. But at least we have power now. Did we not just empty that? Oh, okay. Now this door is open. Let's see what we got up here. Okay, blue door. Okay, two blue doors. Is there anything in here? Next room. Let's see if we have... Oh, yeah. What do we have here? A red dot scope. What is it for? A red dot scope for what? Wow, it's actually for the shotgun. That is pretty epic. A shotgun. <laughs> oh, okay. We have some shotgun ammunition, but still, that is pretty epic. I just want to look at it quickly, what it looks like. So we're going to equip it. I don't have enough ammunition to leave it equipped, but that is pretty amazing. A red dot sight on a shotgun. 
That is sick. Well, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with it. Let's go and check the blue door here. Hallway, okay. Yeah, nothing here. So let's head down here first before we go around the corner. Oh, this is a huge building. Nothing in the lockers. Come on in. This looks like a big safe house, potentially. So we're just back here where the room is, the gas room. So let's head to the left here, I think. Wasted a lot of shots there, but still awesome. Oh, we're gonna have to look what's in here, even if we want to follow the other route. Okay. But what is this? Oh, a weapon. Nice. <gasps> is that another submachine gun or uh, an SMG? Let me see. A HP 5. Very little damage, so I'm assuming oh, it's a 9mm as well. So what type of ammunition do you take? It, it is an SMG, but it's a low level one and we already have a level 2 SMG. So what we're having here is much better, I guess. And that was the weapon we had to find, so I'm glad I came into this room. Oh, and we got some ammunition as well. Nice. Okay, let's follow the marker now. Could be in here. Make sure we loot everything else first. Nice. Okay, let's go. Let's check it. A handwritten note. Oh, I like this. They're actually talking about having to fight these ticks on the church. Or at the church. And they said they just couldn't get them down. Like, they just couldn't get a good line of fire at them. And that they recommend something with a bit of a spread, like bird shot ammo. So I think we have a few of those. Oh, it's mission complete. Excellent. Let's have a look. There has to be... This looks like a safe house, that bunker. But yeah, we're gonna have a look at the other rooms and see. Okay, I'm literally just in the room next door. I was going to go through all the rooms and um, gather the ammo. And there is actually a radio. Major Lindgren, do you copy? Over. We need a status report. What the hell happened over there? Require full report on the encountered enemy machines. Major Lindgren, do you copy? Over. This is not a safe house. We're gonna have to find a safe house. So we're probably gonna ch go closer to our main mission and see if we can unlock a safe house over here. Okay, there's absolutely nothing more here. So we're gonna have to go back to where the staircase wa was and see if we can find any more um, loot there. Or maybe another secret. I have no idea. Right here in this room, we have another weapons crate. Let's see what we get. Oh, another rifle scope. Okay. I think that's it. Okay, I think we found something all the way at the end of another L-shaped hallway. Still on the same floor, though, as the as the rest. What did we get? Athletic shoes. So that looks like a recipe for athletic shoes. There's so many corners on this corridor. It's ridiculous. Okay, this is another empty room, is it? Loads of rooms, nothing in it. Literally nothing but... Um, oh, another weapon. Oh, nice. An Automatgewehr level 2. I think we already have that. Yeah, automatic gewehr level 2, we already have that. There we go. Very good. Another one, though. Very nice for scrapping for parts. And we got a lot of um, single ammunition crates in these rooms, but a lot of rooms also absolutely nothing. Oh, there's something on the bed here. Okay, first aid kit. And I think this is the last room. Yeah, the only thing left here is this hallway. It probably goes to another exit. Let's check it out. Okay, dead end, I think. All right, that's it. Okay, we just got notification of a relay beacon. And this is where the rival is also browsing around. Do we have a level four rival yet? No, they're all level three, so maybe after we destroy the relay beacon. Okay, we have a big walker patrolling it. We probably could deal with him. Okay, let's do it. There we go, come on. 
Place it down. There we go. Oh, balls. I can't see it now. There we go. Got it. Oh, that's not good. Nice. Run in. Okay, I think that's it. Or is there one more up there? No. Yeah, it's much harder in the dark uh, to look at where you place things and shoot at them. Okay, let's get the loot from the big guy. And then we're gonna blow up the beacon. Nice. That's the end of that beacon. Okay, we're just at the edge of the village. So we're just here at the first couple of houses here. So we're gonna check them out and then we're gonna head in here and hopefully there will be a safe house. What is this? Oh, nice, we have lockpicks. Lovely, oh, yes, some good healing. Some ammunition, a handgun silencer. More ammunition. We only get very little shotgun ammunition. Grenade, is it? Oh, yes, that would be nice. Oh, what is this? An SMG. We already have a level 2 SMG, but what is this? Was that also an SMG? And yeah. Oh, level 3 SMG. Nice. Oh, that is beautiful. Yeah, we're going to put everything onto that. Sweet! This one actually allows the red dot scope to be attached. I don't know why the other one didn't allow that. I must have clicked at the wrong gun earlier. I, I really was surprised that it didn't work on that gun. I'm so glad it did though. Let's have a look at it. Oh, that is amazing. This is nice. I'm loving this. I'm so glad we got the lock picking sorted out, guys. Also, we have another, I think, at least two skill points. And I'm not really sure. I think I want to kind of go into salvage because it increases the amount of ammo we find. And I think that would be good because in the moment I don't have a problem with stamina. Um, throwing, I'm actually okay with in the moment. Reload speed, I don't really have a big issue. And aim speed, I don't either. I don't know, maybe something down here, but... A healer might be locked. Unlocks able to heal other nearby players. Okay, yeah, not really. That support. Stamina, of course, that could help. But I think I'm gonna go for this first. And unlocks the ability to scavenge enemy components even if they're damaged. <gasps> oh, we have still two points left. So I could definitely... I'm gonna get the second level of this. And I'm gonna leave the other level and I'm gonna let you guys... Um, if you want to give me some advice, that would be great. Now again... Some things I just don't feel I need them. Oh, Inquisitive Mind. Increase the amount of XP you earn by complete... Oh, yeah, please. Never mind we're saving a point. That definitely looks like I should take that. But, um, yeah, let me know in the comments anyway what uh, skills you guys find very handy to have. Yeah, we're getting into the bigger housing area now. Just gonna try out this baby. What do we have in this house, though? Let's check that. Ooh, this looks like something vicious happened. Oh, we have a gun here. It's a shotgun. Oh, maybe it's a higher level shotgun. That would be pretty awesome. Let's see what we got. Pump action, it seems to be level one. Or did we get a level? Yeah, we already had a level two. The only level three we have is the SMG. Oh, there's a hand print. There's your man here. Last stand, nice. I like to believe that I'm getting more ammunition now. <laughs> Oh, look at all these crates. Beautiful.
Okay, that's the house done. Nothing much more found in here. This shed seems to be closed. Wow, there's a lot of activity over there. Let's see if the light makes a difference. Yeah, I don't think the light makes a difference. I mean, I can have the light off or the light on. It makes no difference, I think. Yeah, I don't think it does. Okay, we can go into here, though. It usually is the moment I'm standing up, they see me, and then when I crouch, regardless of light, uh, they kind of lose. So when I crouch now, you can see it going down. It doesn't really matter if I have the light on or not. I, I haven't definitively seen that the light makes a difference uh, yet. I know some people say it does, but I'm not really sure it does in this game. Oh, we have the rival over there. That's not good. Okay, we could lure them. It's only one, really, is it? See, if I turn the light off, it still increases. If I turn it on, it doesn't increase any faster. So it's usually just if I, pr if I lie down all the way. Okay, let's throw it. run nice oh there's the other one boy he's big and angry Trick him as well. Okay, we got it. We got it. Let's place it down and blow it up. Eat, eat, eat. Heal, heal, heal. Switch gun. Oh, this guy is so fast. Whoa! Whoa, I just missed him. Oh, yes! Woo! Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Into the shed. Close the door. At least we're safe on this side. That was intense. I love it. Okay, I know you don't kill them until they're level 4, but it was unavoidable, to be honest. Like, I had to fight them either way. Nice. Oh, experimental jacket? And now we get also nine, N9 extended magazines. Ooh, interesting. So we're starting to get better loot. Full stop, it seems. Okay, so I think it's safe to go over there now. Anything here to loot? No? Anything here around the house? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, the experimental jacket gray it looks pretty cool, but um, it doesn't have any stats, so I'd rather have the minus one bullet resistance. I'm overweight, so my sprinting is disabled as well. So, not a safe house. I think the only thing we can do is... Uh, oh, the loot. How can I say no? Oh, yeah, that was the tick. How am I not hitting the tick? Let's see what we have in here. Another red dot scorp. Very nice. Okay, we got a pistol here and a silencer. Very good. I think that's it. We got a lot of items here. Oh, a clock 17. What is that? Oh, a level 2 handgun. I mean, we have a level 3, so, you know, that's fine. And I think we can put a red dot sight on that as well if we want to. No, it doesn't actually work, the red dot sight. Nope. What is that? A collectible picked up? I didn't pick anything up. I literally just walked forward and that was it. Destroy enough machines in the farmlands regions to get a complete entry barcode. 
Oh, I just picked that up. I thought I, I accomplished that. I was like, what? Okay, I can't sprint, so I'm not sure where the next safe house is, but I don't think we have a choice. We're going to have to start or continue the main mission here. Or I could try to explore around here and see if there's a safe house avoiding this. There has to be another safe house somewhere here. So I'm going to check out this area here and not trigger the main mission because main mission, I'm assuming you want it to be a little bit more agile. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to loot any of that just in case I come across something cool, but I'm going to snoop around and see if any of them are safe houses and kill anything that's on site. They should be just normal guys. So hopefully nothing too majorly to deal with. Ooh. Is it a walker? Wow, so if we aim for the face, they actually are easier to kill. Nice. Okay, let's take that. Yeah, so finding a safe house is not going to happen. Another mission just triggered and it's a lot of big guys. And I don't want to really be in the middle of this right now. I'm especially being over encumbered. So it's another main mission that triggered. So we're not going to do this now. And um, there could be a safe house here. I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log off right here. It saved my progress. So it should save my weapons and everything. And then we'll see where it brings me in next time when we start. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. So for anybody who actually is sticking around for after the outro, it did port me back to the actual safe house, the last safe house. But I noticed then that on my radar, I had the safe house icons. And this safe house icon is pointing over here, but it obviously has to be somewhere past here. Sorry, uh, past here. So because we went up to here and we pretty much didn't see anything. And the other icon I have is here and there is no quest. So if I can avoid the rivals, we might be able to find a safe house here. I didn't even realize that the icons were visible for safe houses I haven't unlocked yet. I mean, this is the church, the last church we were able to use as a safe house. So. Oh, hello. Let's actually head in there. Ah, nice. Let's check it out. It also makes very big footsteps somewhere there. Oh, my balls. The giant arrival. Okay, we're not going to take him on, but we're going to hope that this will be a safe house. Come on. And it's the same church setup, safe house unlocked. Nice. Whew. All right. That's excellent. We're going to try to avoid the rivals. And um, next time when we start, oh, it even has a crafting bench. Use a parallel crafting station. Nice. So next time we will actually be able then to continue from here into this area and do these quests. Well, we'll see how long this quest takes, but we're going to do this quest and this quest along the way, which is going to be amazing. And this is much closer than coming from all the way back here.